if you guys don't know, a couple months ago, I, this, I came across this photo and I shared it on Twitter. I shared it on Twitter. Here we go. So, <laughs> so <laughs> all right, chat, hear me out. Hear me out. This life-size Tifa doll sh just arrived in Japan. Just, I'm just saying, it just arrived in Japan, okay? And I was like, I would like to know more what that is. I would, I would like, to, I, hear me out. Hear, hear me out, chat room. This is, a, this is the degenerate stream right now. I, will, I would like to see more, <laughs> more about that. <laughs> okay. And I saw a video. I saw a video. It's a silicone Tifa doll update. And I think this should be uh, safe, safe to watch, hopefully. Hopefully. I, ha I, haven't, I haven't looked at this video yet. I haven't, I haven't, li you, you linked the site on Twitter. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I haven't seen this video yet. This came out two weeks ago. Please don't have nudity. Please don't have nudity. Hey, what is up guys? How are you guys doing? It has been a little while since I made a video. I took a little break to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, oh God, and I've got to say, I absolutely love the game. The game I is mean, fucking it's such good. such a long game, it took me quite really a number good. of weeks to complete. But I've got to say, it was such an improvement over the remake. And you know, it's it's probably one of the best Final Fantasy games I've ever played. What about you guys? What did you think of Rebirth? Let me know in the comments below. Rebirth's great, like a 9, nine 5 out of 10. But anyhow, guys, oh God, today dude. we are taking a look at oh the SGD Studio Half Scale Tifa Lockhart Silicone Figure. Oh my so, God. yeah, this is pretty much going to be the final update on this figure since the figure is released. And I think some of you guys actually have the figure in hand, which is really great to see. I mean, I've covered this figure for quite a How number much of months is it? now, all the way from the initial promotional photos to all the updates and now to the final release. So, you know, it's been quite a The final a journey, one looks pretty good. I'm just so happy to finally see the figure released. So I've got to tell you guys, I did not pick up this figure. I just couldn't justify the price points. How much but is I've it? I've got to say, I think the figure turned out really well. And, uh, you know, I think uh, if you guys picked up this figure, I think you're going to be very happy with it. Because it actually turned out very, very nice. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and take a look at what $3, we have $3,000? So, as you can see, the figure is being unboxed. And I love the design of the packaging. It's very simple, but, you know, it looks very professional. Yes. So I've got no complaints with the packaging. I think it looks great. And I also love the window display on the styrofoam. This way you can keep the figure inside the packaging if you want, and you don't have to take it out of the box. But I'm pretty sure that 99% of you guys are gonna open up this figure. But yeah, the option is there in case you guys wanna keep it inside the box. Oh my God. And yeah, here's how it looks, fresh inside oh the packaging. I've got no idea why the figure is not wearing the skirt piece. <laughs> this is how it looks. Hey, don't question, box. don't question the method. $3,000. Here's the figure out of the packaging. And let's take a look at how we assemble the figure onto the display base. I still don't think this is a very good way to display the From figure. From the back? I mean, there's a hole on the back of the shirt piece. Yeah, I don't like and that. There's a hole on the back of the figure, which yeah. I have never seen this on any other figure out there, so I just don't know why they decided to do this. I think it does ruin the Imagine figure. Imagine custom some scanning that box from Japan. Just yeah, had no dude. hole on the figure or the clothing and just had a standard display stand, almost like a hot toy stand that goes between the legs. I yeah. think that would have worked so much better. In my better. opinion, yeah, it would have been better in the legs. This is how the figure stands on this display base. I mean, it does look pretty good. All right, chat. Here, here's the thing. Anyhow, here's a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, here, here, here's the thing, chat. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You guys are like, oh, but, but, uh, you know, Tifa's ass is not that big and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's by design, all right? You guys are like, oh, Stellar Blade looks better and stuff like that, which I do agree. I do agree Stellar Blade looks better. Now, here's the thing, though. Uh, Tifa, um, the original drawing from Nomura. She has no butt. She has big boobs and no butt. Wait, I linked you the actual real doll. It's so much nicer. Onto the actual figure. Oh I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much what you would expect. You have to fit it onto the figure, almost like a real piece of clothing. And then here we have the stockings. Or oh, the there's no hinges. It just moves. It's like an armature. So one thing which I'm a bit afraid about is that the clothing will stain the body. As you guys know, sometimes dark clothing will stain the body of the figure. So, you know, just be super, super careful displaying the figure with all these dark pieces of clothing. I wonder I if those underwear are the orthopedic underwear that you can steal from the OG Final Fantasy games. Onto the figure to minimize any risks of staining the body. And here we have the black tank top which fits underneath the white tank top. Once again, just be careful of the staining. I mean, it's a very expensive figure. Real, do real do doll's five foot five. 
I've got to say, the paint job on the skin is super amazing. I mean, it looks pretty realistic. I'm pretty much blown away by how realistic the skin looks. It's pretty crazy. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty interesting way of how you assemble the, uh, the little bracelets on the wrists. Huh? So it seems like you need to cut a piece of plastic, what? which fits over the hand, and then you slide the bracelet and the gauntlet piece over this piece of plastic. I guess oh. just to avoid damaging the figure. But uh, yeah, I've never seen that technique oh, before. Oh, hey, it has just material in there, and that, that looks like a... Way to, uh, you know, it's linked to a uh, uh, magic material with... Uh, it most likely does. With the, what's it called again? Uh, summon material. But, yeah, here we have the glove as well. It's crazy how realistic the fingers are. I mean, they're individual visually articulators and the paint job around the knuckle area is just so realistic. Damn. Yeah, that's okay, pretty good. So I guess this is how you move the eyes. I totally forgot that the figure came with movable eyes. Oh that's creepy. It's such a cool feature, but I've got to say it looks pretty difficult to you know to move the eyes on this figure. I don't know why they made it so complicated. They could have made it a bit similar to you know how uh, how hot toys figures move their eyes. But for this figure, it seems like oh, you, you use a needle eyes, to move it. That's sort of weird, dude. Figure, you know, I, I I don't really like this method. I don't I like feel that. Like it could damage the figure. Yeah, you, I mean, you're, it looks you're... like you can definitely scrape the eyes, and oh, it seems man. like you could even rip the silicone around the eyes if you're not careful. Yeah, I don't like In that. In my opinion, I would just recommend moving the eyes once in the desired position and just not moving them ever again. At least that's what I would do if I had this figure because it's just not worth it in my opinion. So I would just say move the eyes as little as possible. And it seems like the figure eye comes drops? with some type of oil or liquids to, you know, help the eyeball move inside the eye socket. Sounds a little bit crazy, but, you know, I think Jeez. it's a good touch that they included this. Jeez. Yeah, it's a little gross, right? Okay, yeah, a little so weird. here's how you insert the headpiece and fix the hair on the figure. Once again, they're pretty straightforward. I mean, I really don't know why they decided to release these videos. It's very, you know, self-explanatory. Yeah, the face is really good. Yeah, the face looks good. Well, I would not want to risk rolling the hair around on the floor like that. I don't know what they were smoking when they made this video, but uh, hey, yeah, I that's guess the... this is how you fix the hair piece. Jeez. If it gets messy somehow. Once again, Jeez. you know, you just got to brush the hair. You got to like know, human spray hair. Some water. Then you just pretty much comb it into place. And make Get sure to it's the nice boob squishing. And, <laughs> and then attach on the clip piece just to make it all sit in place. As extremely detailed, man. So I've got to say, the head sculpt that's the, the that's a purple dress. Actually, pretty nice. I think it's turned out a lot better than I expected. And the face is good. Some nice yeah, a lot of these uh, figure making the companies so like the face the aren't really, really great. Decent. But this one looks really, really good, actually. We okay, are paying so a shit ton of money for it. How you move the figure? Oh, there it is. Okay, is that, yes, it's armature. Yeah. Once again, this is a very expensive figure. I mean, it's one grand. I mean, if this figure Okay, breaks, so this one is this one's one thousand dollars because it's encased inside the silicone body. Yeah, it's an armature. I mean, as long as you use some common sense and don't have the figure displayed in some crazy, crazy poses, I think the figure will be fine. Let me know what you guys think of this figure. Take out the bra. Below, and let me know how many of you guys actually picked up this figure. If you manage to get one of these figures, then you're super, super lucky because this is a very rare piece. I think it was only limited to like 2,000 pieces worldwide, maybe oh, less. Oh, really? And yeah, it doesn't seem like they're going to be making any more figures of this Tifa anytime soon. And um, yeah, it seems to be a pretty sought after figure, which I think is going to be pretty rare in the future. So yeah, congrats to all you guys who actually picked up this figure. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to have a lot more videos on the way now that I've finished reading. Damn. Rebirth, finally. So, yeah, I hope you guys will stay That's actually pretty cool. The armature videos. is actually I'm really cool. One full scale yeah, look at you. This is, that's where you foot people. You guys are doing good out there. That's where you Thank foot you people. So there it is. Watching. Have a great day. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right. Take it easy, guys. Gee. Oh. This is a really good figure. It looks really, really good. But $1,000. Yeah, look at them cheeks. Yeah, thousand dollars is a lot of money. Man, man. All right, that's a good video. That's a that's a good that's a good video. All right, I'm gonna. Here you go. I'm gonna share. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the link with you guys. Go yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and give it a like. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That, that that's that's some good stuff right over there.